Hey guys, what's going on? So it is week two right now. I just moved into this awesome co-working space. These last couple of weeks have been super crazy. If you wanna see how I got here, watch this video. I'm Mike Black and I'm giving up everything during a global pandemic. The world economy has been crippled by COVID, but with the right mindset, we can get through this. I believe right now is one of the best times to reinvent yourself. And so I'm putting everything on the line to prove it. I drained my bank account to zero dollars, got rid of all my belongings, and I cut off my entire network. I walked away from my seven-figure business and I'm now going by the name Scott. I'll have 12 months to build a new business and go from zero to a million dollars. This is the million dollar comeback. You have to just put stuff out there. <laughs> it's starting to really hit me. I don't know what else to tell you. Just a lot more work to do. All right, so this week's video is gonna be a little bit different than most. Unfortunately, it was a little bit tricky to get good shots because I wasn't re revealing my identity to Isaac. Our film team wasn't able to come out and really shoot that much. So I'm gonna be recapping everything that happened here at the office. All right, so day one was super tough. I met Isaac. Howdy, y'all. He was nice enough to drive 20 minutes to pick me up and give me a place to stay. But I'm still broke. Today's not going well. This is not a good start. I didn't have anything other than one pair of clothes and a cell phone with internet. So the first thing I had to do is figure out how do I make money? So it's 8.30 a.m. Slept in this RV last night. It was nice to like actually get some sleep. It was pretty dark last night when I was talking. I also was uh, a little emotional, so it was a very, very tough day. Nothing was going as planned. Some nudist dude invited me to his nudist parties. Ah! Um, we'll see how things go from here. Now I just need to make some money so I can get some toiletries, get a new pair of clothes, and then and it's off to the races. Hey, so here is the uh, RV campground. Uh, this is the RV that I slept in last night. Isaac was nice enough to give me uh, some like bars, so I got to eat. I still have one pair of clothes, uh, which is really gross. I smell pretty bad. <sighs> Today, I'm just gonna spend all day just looking for jobs. I just need some money so I can get on my feet. That's it, it's, it's like 10 a.m., I think, something like that. So we have, we have all day to uh, figure some stuff out. Now the big challenge here with making money is that I didn't have a car, I didn't have transportation. So the conclusion I came up with is that I have to flip things remotely from my phone. One of the best things to sell are tables. Tables are really good. People like love tables with chairs. Those sell really quick. So what I started doing is just taking ads on Craigslist in the free section, putting it on Facebook Marketplace and selling it for a profit. I just sold my first couch for a hundred bucks. I acted as the middleman, handling all the logistics between the buyer and the seller. Let's do it, baby, we're in business. The first day I did this, I made my first $50 in profit, $100 in revenue. The second day, I made $250 in profit on day two. I officially have $300 in my bank account now. So I was posting this a lot on Instagram and I had so many people reach out to me and ask me, Mike, how are you doing this? So what I wanna do is show you exactly step-by-step step how I go about flipping stuff from the free section of Craigslist on Facebook Marketplace. I do this on the phone typically, but I'm, I'm doing a screen recording here, so I'll show you how, I, how to do it on the computer. I go to the free section of whatever area I'm trying to target. This looks like a nice couch right here, so I'll click on this. So I'll look at the pictures and make sure there's no issues. I'll save all of these images and I'll copy this text and I will go to Facebook Marketplace. You just go over here, you hit create a new listing, items for sale, and you get started here. So then like, again, we'll copy all this stuff, we'll add it in here, I'll put a title for it. Description, I'll just like make the text better and then we'll hit post. Now, before I do that, I will reach out to the person. So I'll open up my email here and I'll say, hey. Okay, so then I send this message here, pretty much to say, is this still available? I'm really interested in the couch. I really want them to call me. My goal is to get them on the phone so I can explain what I'm doing here. You'll have a much better conversion rate on the phone than you will like replying to emails and telling them what you're doing. After I send that, then I'll just like wait for them to respond. Now, all of a sudden you get start getting all these messages. So let me go to some messages. Okay, so like here's an example of a message. Someone's like, 
is this available? I can get today, I'm ready whenever, blah, blah, blah. Once the person selling it agrees to this, then you have to handle the logistics. I pulled off something today that I'm pretty happy about. Someone wanted a couch and they said, hey, can you deliver it? Instead of making excuses and going, oh no, I can't do that. I closed the sale. I started posting like, hey, looking for a delivery person, blah, blah, blah. I had four or five people reach out to me that want to do deliveries now. This is big. Whenever I need a delivery, I have people that are ready to deliver. If you want to be successful in business, one of the most important things is just f***ing care. After you have sold the item, they'll be really happy. Like people have said to me like, oh my God, this made my weekend, all this stuff. Ask them like, do you have anything else you need help selling? Someone I sold a couch for had four more couches I was able to sell for them. That's it. If you're interested in doing this, that's how we do it, baby. Hope you enjoyed this flipping video. So that's exactly how I went about taking free items on Craigslist and flipping them on Facebook Marketplace. All you need is a cell phone with internet. No f***ing excuses. <laughs> don't, don't include that. <laughs> Coming out of the weekend, I made 300 bucks. I had to figure out, what am I gonna spend this money on? What are the first things I'm gonna buy? So there was a Walmart and a thrift store right next to each other on the way to where Isaac goes to work. So Isaac was able to give me a ride to Walmart, drop me off, and I was able to get all the essential things that I need. We're at Walmart, ready to get some stuff. So the first thing I got at Walmart was <laughs> underwear. One of the unfortunate things about this project was the first couple days, I had to shower and then put my clothes back on. I'm very, 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 very excited to get clothes tomorrow. Look how gross this is. Now I get to put these boxers back on that I've been wearing for the last three days. Isn't that nice? It was so disgusting, so gross. I was so pumped when I got my first pair of underwear that was actually clean. <laughs> so I bought 10 pairs of underwear, 12 pairs of socks. Um, I got deodorant so I didn't smell anymore. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got food, but I didn't spend a lot of money. I think I only spent 30 bucks on food. All I've had for the last three days is just like one protein bar every day. <laughs> I'm hungry. I ate real good the first week. I got canned tuna, I got canned beans, I got spaghetti with no sauce. I have beans for <laughs> breakfast and lunch. And I got a, a gallon bottle of water so I could keep reusing it and refilling it. Fucking bug in here. God damn it, dude, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> We're drinking premium bug water. It's actually a new craze, it's called high protein water. So then after doing all of that, I went across the street to Goodwill. The first place we went to actually wasn't the right Goodwill. They moved to all the way over there. Which really sucks, I was lugging all of my groceries. This is why it's called the comeback. <laughs> so I got 10 shirts and I got eight pairs of shorts. I just found these pants and they're literally the same pants that I used to have and Mankata is wearing them right now. Look at this. <laughs> You guys probably don't know this, but I actually ended up giving Isaac one of the shirts because it was like an NPR shirt and he's like really into NPR. So I gave that to Isaac. So I actually have nine shirts. Is that how you're repaying Isaac? You gave him a shirt. <laughs> you're ungrateful. Yeah, Isaac. He gets a shirt. Isaac, thank you so much for letting me say your place. Here's a fucking shirt from the thrift store. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Before you say anything, I know, I get it. The shirt is freaking disgusting. I know what I'm doing is wrong. I'm uh, at heart right there. But when I was at the thrift store, this repulsive shirt, this is was the cheapest thing for a reason. I had to do it. I know, I know, I don't want to hear about it. I'm disgusted with myself. It's gross. Let's just move on. So the next day, July 14th, I made a little bit more money flipping stuff and I decided to finally go get a computer. Hey Mike, what do you got there? That's a nice computer. Oh, you mean this? Oh yeah, that's just a brand new used Chromebook. I'm gonna take that. So we're on day five. We have a full wardrobe. We have a Chromebook. We're ready to go. Except. Except <laughs> things took a turn for the worst. Oh, it's just not working. That's good. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Jesus Christ, this computer sucks. This you want to see it? This is my favorite part. Good. That's good. It's good. It's good. Good. Good computer. 
I was going crazy in this RV. Like I really needed to get out of there. Things were not going well. You mean, you mean this right here? Poor internet. Brand new used Chromebook. Nowhere to go. Brand spanking new. Wasn't making any money. Use, use, use Chromebook. I'm gonna take that. Wow. All in all, I wasted about an entire week worth of time. I was just cooped up in an RV. I was like, man, I really need to find a place with good internet that I can work. So the next thing I started looking up is, okay, maybe there's some co-working spaces. And I got super lucky. There was an office space that was only five miles from where I lived, and it was only $40 a month. The problem was I only had like $45 in my bank account, so it killed me to do it, but I really needed a good place to work, so I spent the 40 bucks and drained my bank account to very close to zero dollars. So now we have this office space. They have these iMac computers. So like one of the issues wasn't just internet. My computer only has four gigs of RAM, which means it's really slow. It's been really hard to work off of, but this is my workspace right here. Here's my Chromebook. I get to use this iMac every day. We have this entire space. <laughs> and not only that, it has all these really cool amenities for the production team space as well. So now they'll be here with me every single day. We can shoot every single day, make sure we don't miss anything. I'm just so pumped, so excited. Here is kind of like the common area. There's not too many people here right now because of COVID, but I come here every day now. I take the bus. They have this like super cool production room. They have a podcasting room. They have all these other like meeting rooms. All my problems are solved. I now have internet, access to a fast computer. Now we're ready to build our business. And that's how you turn used couches into an office space. The comeback. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming out today. <laughs> All right, settle down, settle down, settle down. Yeah. <laughs> thank you everyone for coming out. This is week two of the comeback challenge. <laughs> I thought it sounded like an elevator. I don't think I like this. You like the setup? Not I don't think way. so. Hey everyone, this is the comeback challenge week two. This past week, you got to see me flip some stuff, make some money, get back on my feet. So what I want you to focus on this week is continue to figure out ways to make money so you can invest it into your business and into yourself. Whether that's flipping stuff on the weekends, use things like TaskRabbit, if you wanna get side jobs, I want you to look into those things so you can start saving up money to invest into your business. Now, if you do wanna flip stuff and you have a car, that's a much better option than flipping stuff on your phone. But if you don't have a car, you can do the same thing that I did and just flip stuff right on your phone. The second thing I want you to do is get a good working environment. As you saw, I kind of had that downturn and I had really poor internet. I didn't have a good place to work and I was really unproductive because of it. I know a lot of you are at home right now because of COVID. Make sure at your house you have a, a good setup and a good working environment where you can be productive. And if you don't have a space like that at your home, look for outside places where you can maybe go to be productive and get work done. The third thing I want you to look into is local resources in your community, as well as co-working spaces. Co-working spaces are a great place to network and meet like-minded individuals. And it's also a great place to work. A lot of co-working spaces can be really affordable as well. This place is only $40 a month, but places like WeWork, where I typically have office space, might start at $300 a month, which is still really cheap for all the benefits it brings. You can have a really nice workspace. You can meet really cool people. It's just a win-win across the board. So that's it for this week's video. Get out there, go hustle. I'll see you in the next video.